What's going on guys? Welcome back. Um, today's soap, head shave will be Kumbaya. <clears throat> Skull Busters. I've never used this soap before, but I know it's good. Brush Viking Soap Company. Bloody razor blade handle. Twenty eight millimeter Odin's beard bulb badger two band. should do us. Razors, the PAA Starling Single Edge with a gem stainless. tallow based soap don't believe this company is in business anymore and it sucks I don't know what happened They're based, he's based out of New Jersey I don't think he did this full time, but I could be wrong. Got two other offerings from Skullbusters. This right here is a very calming, light scent. It may be medium light on the face, but it's definitely light on the head. Um, super slick. It's tallow, like I said. I didn't look at the uh, scent notes. I apologize for that. It's my day off, I'm being lazy. So, oh well. You go to trythatsoap.com, type in Kumbaya, and they'll pop up. So, I have not even added water to this yet. If you don't have an Odin's beard, super high density badger two band, I'd highly recommend you getting one. It's my favorite knot in the den. Start introducing water. like a fucking pillow on your head. It's not scrunchy, it's not scrubby, unless you want it to be scrubby. Uh, you touch it with lather and it's like silk. It's amazing. They're not cheap. They're not super expensive either. 
Cause Andrew over at Viking Soap Company uh, doesn't charge the shit out of people like some people do. what's left there. Alright, let's go. Warm this blade up. like butter. This is my go-to razor and blade head shave combination. I found what works for my head and that's this. Yeah, I only get two two shades out of each blade, but the blades aren't super expensive, so don't really matter to me. And plus, I get a good straight edge right here. It's super cold and windy right now here in North Carolina. Can hear the wind blowing. Left side, let's go. Oh, got a hair, or five. Oops, don't care. Okay, I'm starting to care. I got about 20 hot time. Damn it. Anyway, for fuck's sake. Very nice scent. I mean, I wish I could explain it. It's so light. I can't explain it from smelling it. All I can say is it gives a nice calming vibe. Hence the name Kumbaya. <laughs> uh, I don't see how it could offend anyone. But I'm sure there's people it does just because people are people, but I don't see it offending anybody. Um, I wish I could have tried his leather variety. I've seen What the Face channel. Can't remember that guy's name. Son of a bitch. What's his name? Fuck. Anyway, you guys know who I'm talking about. 
the what to face guy. Um, seen the video where he had a bunch of samples from him. It's a leather scent and a cucumber or something scent, and I don't have any of those. He had quite a bit of samples, but I do have seasick something and labacuminone something looks German or some shit. I don't know. I don't know why people just can't name their fucking soaps American names. I mean, why? I mean, unless you are German, of course. But if you're American, name your shit American names, please. Jesus. Fuck's sake, I don't want to get on Google and translate that bullshit, you know what I mean? Nobody got time for that bullshit. About to check the residual slickness on it. Not a one out of a five. Yeah, give this a solid three. Three point five out of five. In today's standards, I mean, back in the day, that would have been mind blowing. I think I picked these soaps up on PassStores.com for five dollars a piece in the sell section. So. doesn't mean they're shit soaps, it just means that Pasteur's sells so much shit, they gotta get rid of it before it goes bad. And that's what they put in their sell section. I believe. Because I have a Pasteur's, uh... Some artisan made a soap for Pasteur's back in 2014. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. It's called Soap Smooth. This is the company. This is the soap. Be using this soon. I've already used it before. It's pretty good soap. I believe it's a uh, vegan. I prefer tallow to vegan. I don't care what the company, what they say. The only vegan that comes close to a tallow, in my opinion, is PAA. That I've tried. So, I mean, there may be others I've tried that I've just forgot, but that comes to mind that just mind blows me is PAA. They come the closest to a tallow soap, in my opinion. I mean, it's my opinion. What the? Wow, wow. As some of us say, it's a wow, wow. Okay.
taxes came in the mail today. Already filed them bitches. Cost me $140, but I filed them. Or $120, my bad. Cost me $120. TurboTax. I got $6 back in North Carolina. State tax. Refund. <whistles> the hell am I going to do with that $6? My God. The hell am I going to buy with that car? I think I'll get two with it. Either way, at least I didn't know. So, can't bitch too much, you know? Especially with the, uh, bullshit going on. Um, uh, I would uh, assume a lot of people's gonna owe this year because of the fucking... Checks that went out, the 12 hundo, the 6 hundo. And I hear word on the street that there's going to be another one coming out. No idea how much, but... If you're an essential worker, I believe you should get a bonus on every check or a bonus at the end of the month, something showing that you're appreciated, that you're at work with a little stupid thin mask on that's not going to save you from getting anything. Not really. If you can smell a fart through it, you can smell. You can get a virus through it, so. That's my theory on that. But, uh. uh I believe. And some of the. Some companies are. Not mine, though. I mean, they gave us a little bullshit here and there, but it was taxed to hell. It was on our uh, paychecks. And they've only done it twice. And if you're full-time, you get more. I'm not full-time. Full-time. I'm full-time, but I'm not full-time. Okay, I don't get the benefits. And, uh, yeah, there's only two people full-time per department. There's like eight people in my department. Right behind the two that are full time, so. The rest are new or semi new, so. Brand new or semi new. Been there, uh, over. Started in uh, October 2019. The guy above me has been there three years. The guy above him has been there five years. So, like you care, I just, I'm rambling, like, this isn't just a shaving channel to me, this is therapy, self-therapy in a way, so I'm sorry if it's boring you, or if you cut it off. My 
going to just talk about shaving. Unless I'm reviewing a product, which today I am not, so. This will be the third and final pass. Excellent blade, excellent razor, excellent soap. Excellent brush. Absolutely no complaints, except for myself cutting off my fucking hair. Trying to get close to the center of my head as possible because it's very annoying when you don't get all the way to the center and there's like little bitty short hairs there. I can't stand that shit. I think we got close enough today. So. I'll smooth this out, show you what's in the brush. Do my third pass. Splash. Call it a day. Let's see what we got here. God, that's a beautiful brush. Me favy. This is a uh, lather we're working with here. Look at that. There's a look at that. Cushioner. Slick. Five dollars. I found a hell of a deal. Five dollars for what is this here? I can't place that scent. It's too faint, but it's a very calming, nice scent. That's all I can say. What is this? Four ounces? Yep. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. That's a great scent. All right. Yeah, it's just. that brush so we can get started to be get cleaned out that's what I do on the third pass before I start my third pass and, uh, today's aftershave will be German it will be the all man defiance which is gonna burn the shit out of my head I already know it's nothing but fragrance and alcohol pretty much so it's great I love burning the shit out of myself. Anytime I look up at the camera, it means, uh, not really. Or, uh, uh, what I just said is bullshit. Or, yeah, you already know, so fuck it. What am I telling you? This is the open comb variety. this Starling Single Edge by PAA I've been wanting my hands on this razor for years Every time I had the money, the motherfucker sold out. I missed on the Joker plates. Uh, he has no plans to making any new plates. I read on a recent comment for this razor, so that's cool. I mean, I like what I have here. It's like an OD green, gray. It's nice. Um, I don't think you could make this razor any better if you tried. Because it's already like the V3. V2, V3, V3, V4, whatever you want to call it. Works excellent, in my opinion. I don't think it needs any tweaks. If I did anything to this razor, it would be make the uh, handle bomb tipped. And uh, maybe like just about that much longer. That's about the only thing I would do to this razor handle. 
I wouldn't touch that. It's fine the way it is, unless you want to add some blade securing elements, but it's pretty secure as it is. So. And then if you want to make some plate colors like uh, red and black, like Deadpool colors, wink wink hint hint I'd buy the shit out of the red and black plates or if you want to do like a uh, yeah red and black would be awesome love red and black red and black OD green it's me three favorite colors those Ever used Atomic Bay Rum? I'm gonna be using that in the near future. I got a sample of that from my buddy in uh, Canada. Archer something, I can't remember his name. Sorry, mate. Butcher your name, sorry. Art, Arthur something, something. Pretty sure he's a member of the Wetheads. NC Wetheads. Get your towel now. Oh, it's BBS right there. So it's right here behind you, right here. Go ahead and grab that. Grab this. It's gonna burn like a motherfucker. Cause it's so close I already know. Yeah. Roll Buster Soap. Awesome performer. Calming. Beautiful scent. If it was on the face, I would probably enjoy it a lot more. I'm going to have to remember to start using my stronger soaps on my head and my lighter soaps on my face but when you got about a hundred soaps over a hundred counting samples you really don't think you just think like what the fuck am i going to use but i'm blessed to have everything i have and uh, i have bought 80 percent of it if not 90. so that's what the soap looks like guys Side label. Let that dry there. Sweet, no ingredients listed. Product of Germany. Get this here at the local Lidl. Grocery store. I gave Jim. Uh, oh, damn! Whoa, boy! <laughs> Back of the head got me. Woo. I gave Jim Co. Shaving experience. Check him out on YouTube. He's awesome. Awesome guy. Uh, I gave him a whole bottle of something. It wasn't Defiance, it was another one that I had that was almost full, if not brand new, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, this right here will wake you up. If your ass is uh, asleep in the morning, get you a good face shave and slap this shit on. <laughs> You'll wake up, I promise you. Six, eight shaves, promises. Your ass will wake up. If that motherfucker gets the burn on your ass. Nice heavy lid that. I appreciate that. Nice heavy lid. This retails for like four dollar. 
four US dollar three. That's nice that. I like that. Put that over there. Kumbaya, school buster soap. All man defiance aftershave. The PAA Starlink single edge with the uh, gym stainless steel blade first use and it will get a second use because I've done it before on the head so third use is not so much but that's fine with me the shaves I get off the first and second are well worth it for me and my money it's like shaving through butter it's like a hot knife through butter so the uh, <clears throat> the brush of the shave. Dry it out real quick, the best I can. It is a uh, Viking Shave Soap Company. He makes brushes, obviously. This is, it's called Viking Soap Company. Andrew. Does some great shit over there. Highly recommend you checking him out. Is that not? Look at that thing. That's a fucking lather monster. Okay. 28 millimeter. Super high density Odin's beard. Two band badger. Well. I'm applying a lot of pressure to that. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Never lost one hair, not one hair. I mean, I just can't give him enough credit. It's a piece of art. This is the first object he's ever in, put in a brush. So I have that history here, which I'm very proud of. And I'm glad he pulled it off and I'm glad I'm the first to own one. This is a pulse silver inside here if you're wondering uh, his favorite blade and I love him too yeah that's it that's the shave for today ladies and gents mainly gents no ladies that's fine uh, enjoyed that shave quite a bit some uh, Mysterium Serum PA squirt it out as a J capital J in it how about that is that a sign Mysterium Serum so much that I put the Mysterium Serum Sasquatch on my truck. So if you see a Mysterium Serum Swatch on, your, on a uh, Durango at the top, you'll know it's six eight shaves. You gotta get me a YouTube uh, decal made and put it on my truck. But uh, yeah, I love that stuff. I don't know if he still makes it. I'm sure he does. I hope he does. Because uh, I had about a half a bottle there. It's about right here. So I forget that I have it. It's such great stuff don't have any I highly recommend you try it it's unlike any balm I've ever tried it's scentless so you can use it with anything right now my head is uh, soft as a baby's ass that's the way I like it so we got the head shave redemption done I told you I'd get a head shave redemption
on the last video. So guys, I don't mean to drag this shit on, but I know you guys like seeing my beautiful face. So that's it for this. Um, probably get me a face shave in either tomorrow or early morning tonight. Just depends how I feel. But I hope everybody has a great day. Everybody's happy, healthy, and well. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.